Hey, this is Zach with PRP Seats, here today to show you how to install our PRP seats into the two-door Honda Town 1000X or 1000R. You can find our line of PRP seats for the Honda Town at prpseats.com or through your authorized dealer. Go to our site, find the seat model that you prefer, and design it yourself with over 60 different colors and materials to choose from in our integrated seat builder. Each seat model for the Honda Town, whether it be the GT3, GTSE, XC, RS, or highback, should be sold as a pair with the mounts for the Honda Town included in the price. If you have a second-hand pair of PRP seats, we also have the Honda Town seat mounting kit available on our site. The seat mounting kit comes with brackets for the driver and passenger side, and a corresponding fifth point bar if you have five point harnesses. The brackets and the fifth point bar attach the vehicle reusing the stock hardware. Then to attach the seat to the brackets, we have our own supplied hardware. One thing to know before you order seats, uh, with the Honda, you can use, still reuse your stock three point seat belts if you, if you have the XC or the RS seats. With the GT3 and GTSE, this three-point buckle right here will not fit in that harness slot. It's kind of hard metal right here and it's not very pliable. Some other vehicles, we've been able to like basically kind of feel it and kind of push it, push it through. This one though on the Honda Talon is metal. It's not very malleable. It doesn't really move that easily. Um, so you're only gonna be able to use the stock three-point seatbelt if you have the XCs or RSs. If you choose the GT3s or GTSEs, you're going to have to use aftermarket harnesses. On the passenger side, we're gonna start by removing the bottom seat cushion. Then we're gonna use a small flathead screwdriver to remove the two little pop bolts here and remove this plastic piece. Now you're gonna use a 12 millimeter socket to remove the two bolts and two nuts holding the stock seat frame to the vehicle. Then remove the seat. Next, we're gonna install the brackets on the bottom of our PRP seat. You're gonna flip the seat upside down. If you have any square tube brackets in the seat like this, they're not gonna be needed for this installation, so you can take them out and set them aside. Each passenger side bracket going to mount up with the two corresponding holes with the leg on the back side of the seat angled out and it's L-shaped towards the inside. You're going to attach these brackets using the stock hardware we provide, one quarter inch 20 bolt, a lock washer, and a flat washer. Then tighten all four down using an 11 millimeter socket. Before we put the seat back in the vehicle, there's one thing we need to go over. These three bolts are still fairly easy to get to once you have the seat in. But this back one here in the corner is really difficult to get to. There's two ways that you can access it and tighten it down. One is to get a really, really long wobbly extender and work your way around the seat all the way down to it till you access it. But the other one, which we recommend the most, is to cut this small little piece of plastic back here, uh, right in front of the bolt, that will allow you to take a ratchet from the rear, come through, and tighten down the entire assembly. You can do this by using a box cutter, a pair of snippers, or a small little skill saw blade to cut away that plastic piece. All you need to cut is this small little incision piece right here, and this plastic piece right here to remove this section and bring a ratchet or socket through to tighten down that nut.
Now we can place your PRP seat in the vehicle. Along with your mounting kit, we've included these two fifth point harness bars. If you're running a fifth point harness and have that substrap, this allows you to connect or bolt up that substrap right underneath the seat to the vehicle. Uh, the passenger side is going to be the shorter one. The driver side is gonna be the longer one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna place this bracket on top of the two bolt holes underneath the front of the seat. Then we have supplied two longer bolts that are longer to stock um, that are gonna use a 13 millimeter ratchet to tighten down. For the rear bolts, you can access them from behind the vehicle. This outside one is right here. All you need to do is take the stock um, nut with a 12 millimeter socket and tighten it up. And then for the inside one, if you've cut out that panel, all you have to do is do the exact same thing, put the nut on back here and tighten up with the socket. One thing I found was a lot easier, uh, it's hard to get your hand back in there. So it's easier to go from the top inside the vehicle put the nut on, reaching your hand behind the seat, then go back here and tighten it down. Next up, we're gonna start installing the driver's side seat. Same as the passenger seat, you're gonna start by removing the bottom seat cushion. Then you're gonna use a 12 millimeter socket to remove the four bolts holding the seat frame to the seat slider. Once you've done that, you're gonna remove the seat from the vehicle. Now we're gonna install our brackets on the front seat. They go like this with the edges, these two little arrow sections going forwards with the tab little pop-out sections on the bottom. And they just slide right over the stock bolt holes on the slider. Once you've done that, you can install this front fifth point harness bar right over the same two bolts. Then you're simply just gonna reuse those four stock nuts to tighten down the entire assembly. Once you've done that, you're gonna place your PRP seat into the vehicle. Make sure the seat slider is all the way forward on both sides, so both of them are even. Then, on the rail here, you're gonna see the different bolt holes. They're gonna line up with the bolt holes on the top of our mounts. Then, use our supplied quarter inch by 20 uh, bolts with lock washer and flat washer. And you're gonna install them by hand and then tighten them up with an 11 millimeter socket. I found it easiest if you start on the inside and connect the bolts on there, then move to the outside here and connect these bolts uh, using a socket or an 11 millimeter wrench. Once you've done that, you can slide the seat back to your choosing and you're ready to go.